Support for Radio Friends comes from OsteoStrong. Improvements in bone density, strength, and power can be achieved by weekly five-minute no-sweat sessions on their four-spectrum machines. These isometric robotic machines safely emulate high-impact loading on different parts of the skeletal system, which stimulates activity in bone-building cells. Balance and agility can be improved by two-minute sessions on vibration plates. Every session is supervised by a trained coach. Learn more on Facebook or call to set up a complimentary wellness assessment and session. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, March the 10th. <clears throat> Got my friend here, Ken Midkiff. Always a pleasure to uh, have you on here, Ken. And I enjoy reading your columns in the Missourian. You also write for the Joplin Globe. For the Joplin Globe. And I, I pick up the Missourian and I see Ken Midkiff's picture. And before I read it, now this is a compliment, okay? Oh, good. I say, what's he going to complain about today? <laughs> <laughs> but I so enjoy reading your, I so enjoy reading your columns. Uh, what I wanted to talk about was the anti-vaxxers. Mm -hmm. uh, the main, the major anti-vaxxer is Bobby Kennedy Jr., who was a longtime friend of mine until he went over to the dark side. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I had written several columns for the Joplin Globe. Southwest Missouri is a hotbed of uh, anti-vaxxers. And I had written several columns for the Joplin Globe uh, complaining about all the anti-vaxxers and how they were hurting themselves and, in some cases, killing themselves. And all I was doing, it turned out that all I was doing was making them mad. Uh, they, they held, they clung to all the misinformation spewed out on uh, the social networks. And, you know, and, and they didn't believe me, even though I have the backing of the CDC and the ADA and all the other medical organizations. And, uh, you know, I can, I can cite facts and I can cite a lot of research has been done. Right. But it doesn't do any good no. uh, to try to appeal to people. They'd rather take ivermectin. Or hox, what's it? Hox, hydroxychloroquine, yeah, and 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 unproven, totally unproven substances. I know what they, you're talking they about. They prefer to believe the misinformation spewed out on the internet rather than information from a reputable, credible scientist. Yes, and I know exactly what you're saying. It's like trying to beat a dead horse. Yep. When somebody has their mind made up, it. And I'm just telling you this is from a personal personal point. Surely you I don't have, have some, personal I have beliefs. Family, I have family members. I have family members yeah. who refuse to take the COVID vaccine. They refuse to take it. Now, I've had my three shots, and I feel good about it. Yeah. Um, and I've always taken the flu shot. And mm -hmm. my family members, the three that I'm referring to right now, Always took the flu shot. I called just a couple of days ago and I said, I thought I'll try one more time. Did you get your COVID vaccine? No. I said, you haven't had any of them? No. I said, what about the flu shot? No, we're not taking that this year either. I said, what? You've always taken the flu shot. Well, the reason they're not taking it this year because they don't know what's in it. Now, I, 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 that is the same excuse that people are using for not taking the COVID vaccine. They well, don't know well, what's in it. The, the flu shot has been around for, for a at long least time. 50 years. But uh, the misinformation. I, I think by now we may know what's in it. But the misinformation side uh, has has gained the strength. And there's nothing you can say or do right. that is going to change their mind. That's correct. The uh, uh, There are a lot of other federal laws, like the highway safety laws, uh, I, I guess the, the people who are anti-vax, if they think their freedom is being imposed upon, then they would just run right through the red light. Right. <laughs> or not wear a seatbelt. Or not wear a seatbelt. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There, yeah. there, there are all sorts of, uh, you know, highway laws, like our speed limits. Speed limit is, you know, a, a federal mandate. Uh, so I guess they would drive 90 or 100 in a 70-mile zone. I think, I think the, the point you're trying to make, and it's very well uh, pointed out, that when somebody makes up their mind, it's almost impossible to change it, no matter what I you agree. say. You can present all the facts, and it doesn't mean a thing. Uh, yeah, and, and I'm, I, you know, in, I, my column was basically about 
being tired of presenting facts because it wasn't making any, any difference at all. It was only strengthening the beliefs of those who have their own opinions. Uh, so it doesn't, it doesn't do any good uh, to argue with people who believe that vaccinations are bad. Mm -hmm. or, uh, now, on the positive side, I read an article uh, yesterday, and I think it was in the New York Times, uh, that we may be close to about 75 to 78 uh, percent of, of, of having immuni some immunity to the COVID virus at this point. You know, I saw that and I, I was kind of questioning that because um, I, mean, some, I think they're something talking like 65 or 66 percent of the people have been have vaccinated. vaccinated. But there's I think with that article, they're saying it, this also includes people who have had COVID and their immune system uh, has built up some antibodies to the COVID because they had it. Now, I think that's what that article was trying to, to point out. I came away after reading that feeling just a little bit better, thinking maybe sometime this year we can see uh, normal life returning. Whatever that is. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, my concern is that there's a new variant now, as you probably read about. I think it's B2. B2 or BA2 yeah. or something like that. Uh, and it's highly transmissible as yet. I haven't seen any information about how harmful it is. Right. I read I read that story also. But then I re another story, and again, this was either New York Times or CNN, that, and this was on the positive side, that our body, even though these variants are, are occurring, our body is making, is always trying to stay one step ahead and is making antibodies also, is duplicating antibodies. So I'm trying to look on the positive side here, thinking mm -hmm. that maybe, just maybe, yeah. we will see light at the end of the tunnel sometime this year. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Staying positive. Yeah. Staying yeah. optimistic. Uh, well, I, ha I had COVID-19. I know you did. And, and you I've almost been, died I, from it. I've been vaccinated, Moderna vaccinations, and I got the booster. So I'm quadruply you should be in you should be in good shape <laughs> yeah. but the thing is uh, people who have had all their shots and the boosters they still oh, yeah. come down with covid but mild cases now right. knock on wood so far i've had all three shots and so far i have been able to escape it i'm not bragging about that <laughs> I'm not, believe me i'm not bragging about it because i'm so darn superstitious uh but hopefully i can uh, Stay away from it. And you can start stop arguing with your family. Right. Oh, that's a lost <laughs> cause. That's a lost cause. Ken, we're out of time. But if you want more of uh, Ken, just look for him in the Missourian. Your column, what, is it twice a week? Uh, yeah, it's online Mondays and on print on Tuesdays. Okay. All right. You got it. Ken Midkiff, uh, it's always a pleasure chatting with you. And we'll see what you're going to complain about next time. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. He's my friend. I can say that. Out of time for today. If something you'd like to hear or see, drop me an email, pepperpmissouri.edu. Have yourself a nice day. And if you go out and wearing that mask today, smile underneath the mask. Bye-bye.